Watch out, Mylan. A rival to the EpiPen is hitting the market. Joining us now, Dr. Mark Siegel. Is this a big deal? How big of a deal is it? I think this is a big deal because it's under the category of the FDA allowing more biosimilars onto the market, more generics. They compete with each other. The price comes down. Mylan already put out a generic form to compete with itself because last year, as you know, they got so much flack on the EpiPen. So they have a generic that's less than 350 for two-pack. And then there's another one that CVS Health is promoting called Adrenaclick that's $110 for a two-pack. The one you're talking about today, Simjepi, which is coming out by a company called Adamus and Sandos is backing at the big generic giant. Right. This is a whole new system of injection, Charles, and it's so far looks excellent. It's going to lead to many, many other medications, not just the EpiPen. I think Narcan, naloxone for opioids is going to be used by the same system. So in other words, it's not just the medicine, the epinephrine, the adrenaline. It's also how we administer it. The delivery system. The delivery system. And this new delivery system is definitely competitive with the old one. So again, you're going to have more options, more choice. The more choice, the lower the price. Yeah, of course. Mylan, uh, they bought EpiPen from, and then they jacked up the price, which, you know, was a shameful practice. And they got caught. And they got busted. We we were talking about it. It was big time. Hey, next one for you, because a lot of people perking up on this one, no pun intended. (laughs) Drink coffee, live longer. You buying it? In a way. (laughs) Yes. Word of caution. I've never seen you say in a way. You're using pretty definitive. Well, well, so here's what I want to say. 500,000 people were studied in the United Kingdom on this. I I wish Stuart were here. I could could tell you. Your hometown. (laughs) Your hometown. Sounds like a waste of taxpayer money. 500,000 people were studied, and they found that if you drank more than two cups of coffee a day, you were 12% less likely to die over 10 years. Here's why. Because coffee decreases the risk of heart disease, decreases the risk of breast and colon cancer, decreases the risk of uterine cancer, liver cancer, prostate cancer. All have been shown. Why? Because coffee has antioxidants in it. Coffee has great chemicals called flavonoids in it. So why are you still on the fence? Because because this study is talking about eight cups of coffee a day with three cups of coffee a day you get a 12% advantage. Yeah, you may, eight- live, you may live longer, but you risk annoying everybody in the process because you're <laughs> a coffee fiend and being irritated. There's nothing wrong with that. So, so Liz was pointing out that Voltaire and some other very famous artists Fox. use 50, 50 Fox. cups Fox. of coffee a day. Thanks. I say have your two or three cups, decrease your risk by 12%, don't go up to eight cups just to get the additional 2%. How eight about cups, six? you're going to have six. reflux. How you're about 20? Have, uh, well, 20? Six. I mean, I'm kidding. Eight, eight, That's look, Charles, be, Charles, beyond yeah. two to three cups a day, <laughs> okay. you're risking reflux. But there are hard health benefits, though. though. <laughs> That's, one, That's the real big news here, Doc. I'm a big we, believer in coffee, and it does have health benefits. Got to leave it there. Thank you, Thank you very much.